The United States is advocating press freedom and access to factual and accurate information by independent media. Speaking at an event to mark World Press Freedom Day, the Public Affairs Officer of the U.S. Consulate, Stephen Ibelli, explained that the United States considers a free press to be a foundation of democratic governance. Our correspondent, Uyume Afia, reports. It's a gathering of media professionals and students. The U.S. Consulate, in collaboration with Media Career Development Network, puts together this event to mark this year's World Press Freedom Day. And you would think that would be the end of a political career. No, it was not. It was sent. The discussion panel focuses more on the important role that free and responsible media plays in shaping and maintaining a democracy. And immigrants who became more American than the native-born American. What I found very touching about or very instructive about the documentary is his understanding of what needs to be in a newspaper or a magazine. At the rich and the powerful, he also made sure that he paid a lot of attention to the everyday people. Beyond all of that, he understood that mass media meant to be something that people can use. It was said that he was a man who could not be bribed or bullied. How many publishers can actually, or CEOs of media houses in our contemporary world can actually be that strong enough? If something is wrong, it's wrong. It was actually looking out for wrongdoing. If there was a wrongdoing somewhere, if there was corruption anywhere, he was happy to expose it. We operate in very harsh environments. And that is why I tell people, if you complain that Nigerian journalists are not doing much, you probably are not feeling the heat as much as they do. People who sacrifice their time, their family, and stake their life for others, when you crusade, you crusade because you believe, you believe that you owe the society something. And what is the something you have decide? Using your craft to better that society. The practice of a job, that got into my subconscious. There are times when we get information. We have, let me give an example, you have the state house correspondent, and something happens, the state house correspondent calls to say, this has happened. You still cannot use until you get the official statement because you work for government. If you find something you think is looking like the truth, I have a few people who I know are very good fact checkers. No matter how um, truthful it looks, you should learn how to fact check. And then, like I said, take away emotions. We're too emotional. In all, the access to honest information and the dissimulation of same without prejudice no doubt remain the strength of a democratic setting. Uyime Afia, Plus TV News. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.